Welcome to my channel, Look 10 Years Younger. I'm back and can you believe I have another facelifting device? This is the current body radio frequency device. This is on sale for 299 Great British Pounds. It will soon be available in the US, but it's just launched today in everywhere else. So this looks very much like the Tripolar Stop uh, design-wise. It's a little bit more chunky. And I've actually compared these and the Silkin as well. And to be honest, they're all the same output, the radio frequency that comes out of it. They're all bipolar um, and they're all the same weight as well. So they're pretty similar. It comes with the adapter. You have some different adapters for whichever country you're in. It comes with this little bag to store it. Interestingly, the radio frequency gel is based on glycerin. So in theory, this should mean that it dries out uh, slower than the water-based ones. And one of the good things about current body is that they have so many uh, detailed instructions, whatever language you speak, it's like a whole um, manual. So what I found interesting is that with this radio frequency device, they say you cannot use it if you've had filler or Botox three, you know, for three months after you've had that. You can't use it if you've got piercings or tattoos. There's literally two pages of what you can't do. And I'm not sure why, because you can use other radio frequency devices on filler or Botox. I'd really like to know what the what the reason is. But anyway, so good instructions. So I've literally just opened this device. I'm going to put the gel on my face and we'll get started because I know you're dying. Oh God, this is thick. Yuck. I thought this was like a watery gel, but it's not as thick. Yeah, it is glycerin. Oh, it feels horrible. Oh, yuck. Now it's going to mess all my fingers up. Uh, so tip number one, you want to either apply this with a brush or just keep a cloth handy because it's a little bit messy. So I've plugged it in and the green light has come on. So when the, you get blinking green light, it says the device is ready. Radio frequency energy is activated. Uh, okay, blinking green light. It's not actually blinking. But anyway, when you press this top button on the, here, can you see how that changes? So level one, two, and three. I don't think that's very clear, actually. I think they would have been better to have three separate LEDs rather than, I'm not quite sure which is the highest and which is the, I don't know. It's a bit confusing which is the highest level. Anyway, they say when you start, you should use the lowest. If you've never done radio frequency before, you should use the lowest level. So when it blinks, it means you can start using it, but it's not blinking. Uh, how do I get it to blink? Maybe I have to touch it against my skin. Oh, there you go, it's blinking. So you have to touch it against your skin. It doesn't say that. So when you get solid green light, the device is treating the skin, radio frequency is activated, skin contact is detected. And then eventually you get solid orange light for five seconds. That means the five minutes of treatment are completed. Move on to a new area if desired. And if you get a red light, it means there's an error. A malfunction has occurred. They have this guide here. And what they say is that you only need to treat each area for five minutes. Now, I find that really interesting because normally when you have a home radio frequency device or if you have it, in a salon or clinic, then they will heat one area for five minutes, then heat another area, then you need to go back over the same area to maintain that heat. So it's really interesting that you only need to use it um, for five minutes each section. I wonder, is that because it's a different, it's just bipolar, I mean, it's not a specific type of radio frequency. Um, we'll see anyway. So you don't have to do your whole face. If you just want to buy this for the under eye area or for you know here or wherever, you just do that area for five minutes and you're done. If you want to do your whole face, it says it will take 70 minutes. So it says you should use the device once a week on each target area for a period of eight weeks to maintain optimal long-term results. Treatments may be performed as needed every four to eight weeks. I have to say, compared to other devices that I've used, this is heating my skin much, 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 much faster. This is like, wow. Like normally you have to run it over your skin for like five or 10 minutes to start feeling any heat. But this is literally after the first few seconds, I can feel that this is working really quickly. So I've got my completely unscientific 
um, five pound Amazon thermometer. I'm just going to take a quick 36 degrees. Yeah. So how it works. So they say bipolar radio frequency waves pass through the skin from one pole to another. So four, four poles on here penetrating the deeper layers of skin where collagen is formed. When the skin resists these waves, it heats up, resulting in better circulation and immediate collagen production. For this process to be activated, the skin must remain at a steady 40 to 43 degrees Celsius. Everyone's resistance can vary, which means achieving a constant temperature, a challenge. So current body use skin sense technology, TM, every 0.004 seconds to safely deliver the most effective radio frequency best suited to your resistance level. This never before seen technology also has the ability to safely deliver the highest temperature of 43 degrees. Okay, so what they're saying is that, you know, something in this device is going to check that the optimal temperature has been achieved and then maintained. So that's not new because the uh, other devices like the tripolar, they also do the same. Compared to the tripolar, this is more, it feels better because these four prongs on the end are bigger and it's kind of nicer on your skin. It's smoother to use than the tripolar. So I disagree where they say you get immediate collagen production. So it makes your collagen snap up because it's controlled skin damage, but that's not immediate collagen production. You do get collagen, uh, you're basically damaging the skin to get a collagen production response, but that would take a couple of weeks. So it's not instant collagen, but you do get, get an instant tightening effect with radio frequency. So it must have been five minutes though, so I'm waiting for this to go orange. So unless I missed, did I miss the orange light? Maybe I was talking earlier. 40 degrees. So five minutes has definitely passed the temperature's gone down by one degree and the orange light hasn't come on. Okay, I'm going to move to another section. I don't know why the orange light didn't come on there. Now, what other section can I do? Dual line, five minutes. Here she is. She cannot be left out. She must photobomb every single video I do. Come on, you know you want to. May as well say hello, look. Hello. Okay, so it's been five minutes on my jaw. The green light is still flashing and I don't have the solid light or the orange light to say it's been five minutes, but it has been five minutes. I've been timing this. Mm. <clears throat> Am I doing something wrong? And according to the device, I have not reached the desire, desired temperature. So the green light should go to a solid green and you can see that's flashing. And then you get solid orange light for five seconds. So it says recommended treatment time is five minutes for each of these areas on your face. OK. But until the this light changes, then you haven't reached the desired temperature. So it's got to be longer than five minutes then. So actually it's a little bit misleading. So it's not five minutes per section because five minutes is not going to get you to 43 degrees. Like a normal radio frequency device. I've never, as I said, I've never used a device that heats that fast before. I wonder whether the temperature is at the highest point. It's weird because look, you have this big smiley green light here and you can change it at one, two, three, but which one is the height? Is that the highest there? It's been seven minutes and I still don't have the orange light. So I have the solid green light. No, now it's flashing again. It just was solid a second ago. It was solid, now it's flashing. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try the other side. 
so that's been that's been eight minutes on that that side of my jaw okay so it's now been six minutes on this area the green light is still flashing which means it hasn't yet reached oh no it stopped flashing now look now it's a solid green light so it's reached the desired temperature however after five minutes you're supposed to get oh now it's flashing again so it reached the desired temperature then it didn't it's decided actually no it's not reached it so you're supposed to get the orange light after five minutes so you know to move on to the next area it's been six and a half minutes and the orange light hasn't come on so is the timer not working in this device or am i doing something wrong anyway i'm not going to do more of this area because it feels really hot as you can see it's normal that your skin will go red when you do radio frequency i'll try and do my forehead because this is like a bony area on your forehead it's a bit uncomfortable that's where the kind of flatter devices as opposed to these ones with prongs um, are better and more comfortable so with the tripolar device if you stop and stay in one place like this it burns you this when i stop i can't feel anything it doesn't feel very hot on my forehead oh wow 43 so this has reached 43 degrees according to my totally non-scientific calculator uh, what's the light doing? The light is still flashing, saying it hasn't reached 43 degrees. I'm actually delighted because all, I mean, any anyone who follows my channel, you've seen this um, before. I'm always like testing to see whether the, these radio frequency devices do get to at least 40 degrees and they never do, but this has reached 43. Um, the only thing is this is still flashing. So why is this flashing if it's achieved the... Uh, desired temperature and another thing five minutes has gone by and the orange light has not come on as well the place where i get most bang for my buck with radio frequency is just here in this um saggy area here the thing is they don't actually have this on their guide so they say don't go over the thyroid but that's more in this area here but they don't have a section here so i don't know whether they don't want you to use it here or but anyway, a lot of you will be buying this machine for this saggy area here. So I'm going to use it here anyway. And for the neck, it just says go up and down across the neck. It doesn't actually... So up and down like this, do they mean? So I've done that for less than, I don't know, I've done that for about two minutes. I give up with these lights, <clears throat> flashing lights, orange lights. They're not really doing what they're supposed to be doing. In my opinion, I might have a faulty device or maybe I'm doing something wrong. But I think it's a bit complicated the way that they um, have designed this. They could have done it. They could have had a beep after five minutes and also the power uh, indicator. I'm not sure which is one, two and three. And another thing um, with these devices, they've made a slippery, slidey plastic device. If you're going to be using glycerin um, as a gel, why don't they make something with a little bit of grip? That would be my feedback. The other thing, the cable could be a bit longer. It's just over one meter and it's just plugged in uh, by my feet. I think it could be a bit longer, a bit more practical. So they would be my negatives about this device. The positives, it does seem to heat your skin to 43 degrees. Um, it's quite comfortable to use. It's more comfortable than the tripolar. It's a nice colour. What else can I say? Uh, it doesn't seem to be working as it should for me. This is just the first time I've used it. So if you buy this device, you know, let me know how it went for you. So the other area where you should try to aim for is just here under your ear, kind of this area here because you want to lift up the neck area so if you tighten and lift this area it will lift the whole neck you can't go over your thyroid which is here i've put some cold water on my face and it's calmed down it's still a little bit red but the redness will fade this device seems to be a little bit faster it seems to heat my skin faster it's almost like they didn't test this properly before it went to market if they'd have sent me this device to test for them i would have pointed all this stuff out 
I mean, it seems to be an okay device. It seems to do what it's supposed to do as long as you ignore the lights and the flashing. And if you try this device, let me know whether you got the orange light or the green solid light. Was it working for you? Is it just me? Um, or if you've got any questions, please put them below. I've got a discount, which I'm going to put below. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.